Rope. Here we have Cobb, Mary, April 3rd, 1813 to May 6th, 1874. We have the roads. Died. I think that's Osborne. That's all I can really get off of it. Look at this. See all this thick woods here. Those are all burial plots that have been haven't been taken care of. More than likely the any surviving family have moved off or family has died out unfortunately which is sad it's another as well here here we have Henry H Miller born May 24th 1833 died March 29th 19 1897 well, I keep trying to say 19. Because probably because yeah, I was born in the 1900s. We're here. Here we have Thomas N. Pittard. Born November 28, 1829. Died September 11, 1907. A devoted husband and affectionate father and ever kind and, and true friend. The voice... At morning came, he started up to hear a mortal arrow pierced his frame. He fell, but fell, felt no fear. The pains of death are past, labor and sorrow cease, and life's long warfare closed. At last his soul is found in peace. Wow. Can you repeat? Over here we have Nancy Joan Joanne Hines King, May 2nd, 1929, September 4, 2001. I mean, just look at the state of that, and she'd passed in 2001. Again, it's quite sad how that happens. We have Kirk, Queen, Hannah. Here we have William Hannah, born September 9th, 1795, died March 4th, 1880. Wow. Quite the long life. Benjamin. We have the Saxons here. Here we have the Myers. William Clifford C. Atkinson, born April 16th, 1906. That's September 3rd, 1908. Children, man. 
how to get you. Here we have the posies. Sally J. Mary R. What happened to me? Here we have Ken Posey. Can't see his name. 1809 to 1883. William D. Davison. Born January 18th, 1840, died March 4th, 1913. And then here we have Rachel Davison, born April 18th, April 11th, 1850, died May 20th, 1907. So we have the Posies and the Davidsons. They're together. Here we have quite a few lights, Confederate memorials. Before we go in, though, memory of W.G. Walker died January 26, 1888, at 60 years. Here we have Nancy M. Tatum, wife of William Hollingsworth Wofford and mother of General William Tatum, Bofford, died June 3rd, 1867, in the 76th year of her, of her age. Here we have Julia Adelaide, daughter of Dr. Samuel B. and Miss M.A. Dwight, and wife of General William T. Wofford, that will be March 12th, 1830 to September 9th, 1878. And here we have William T. Wofford, Brigadier General, Georgia, Wofford Brigade, Mexican War, Confederate States of America, June 28, 1824 to May 22, 1884. Thank you very much for your service, sir. Guilty. I'll leave this up for a minute for you to be able to read it. And it's the children, 13 months, 8 months, 2 years. That was a tough time. Here we have the Chuns, Samuel, love Chun. October 8th, 1806, September 8th, 1863. And then Elizabeth Word Chun, March 5th, 1820 to July 11th, 1894. And here it looks like we have William Augustus Chun, con Confederate veteran, 1840 Tell me about to 1821. It. Here 
we have a mixture of Sloan, Ash, Step, more unmarked. And you can see the tire marks where the lawnmower's just been riding right over this grave. William Johnson, November 8th, 1829 to March 2nd, 1862. I wonder if you serve, sir. I'll definitely make sure that Kathleen. I check that out. This one is, I can't read, but here is Lindsey Johnson, son of Thomas and Mary Christian Johnson, born March 28th, 1797 in Amherst County, Virginia, died June 8th, 1863 in Bartow County, Georgia. Wow. Shine. Here we have Robert Griffin Sloan, U.S. Army, Vietnam, October 31st, 1947, to September 29th, 2013, Bronze Star. Thank you very much for your service, sir. Here we have the Pitterts. You can see the other side of the memorial. What here. do I do? And here we have a very large memorial that has seen better days. Dedicated to the memory of our southern heroes by the Ladies Memorial Association of Cass Cassville. A.D. 1878. Like I said, this is not a small cemetery whatsoever. And you don't understand. another view of that we have a long